since we started uh, working on chicken. It looks like chicken, cooks like chicken, and tastes like chicken. But no chicken lost its life to make this cutlet. Memphis Meats is one of a growing number of startups worldwide that are producing meat from cells, which doesn't require slaughtering animals. They want to bring cell-based or cultured meat to your dinner table. Yeah. We take cells from high-quality animals, we feed them with the nutrients that these cells need to become meat, and once they become meat, we harvest it, and we cook it into the products we love to eat. In addition to chicken, deep-fried in this demo, Memphis Meats has also made cell-grown duck and beef meatballs. It hopes to start selling its products within two years. San Francisco-based New Age Meats is producing cell-based pork, which was prepared as sausage for this tasting. So people want meat. They don't want slaughter. And so we make slaughter-free meat. And we know there's a massive market for that people that want delicious meat that doesn't require animal slaughter. But these startups face some significant challenges to bringing cultured meat from the lab to the marketplace. They must win approval from government regulators assuring consumers that their products are safe to eat. And they must bring down the cost of cultured meat, which is still extremely expensive to produce. New Age Meats is developing a new type of bioreactor to produce cell-grown meat at an industrial scale. How can you go from the tiny, tiny meatball to producing the amount of meat that one cow has, which is like maybe 800 pounds or so? That's the real challenge. We got the northern blue finless. finless Foods is developing fish and seafood that can be produced on land, no fishing required. The process begins in the lab, where scientists coax fish cells to multiply and grow into meat. The startup created its first cell-based fish in 2017, which has served as fish cakes at this private tasting. It's focused on producing a cell-based version of bluefin tuna, which is overfished and contains high levels of mercury. The ocean is a very fragile ecosystem and we are really driving it to the brink of collapse. And so we think by moving human consumption of seafood out of the ocean and onto land and creating it in this cleaner way, we can basically do something that's better for everybody. As global demand for meat grows, backers say cultured meat is more sustainable than traditional meat because it doesn't require the land and resources needed to raise livestock, a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. Cultured meat companies are facing resistance from livestock producers who are lobbying to restrict what can be labeled meat. The startups must also show government regulators that their products are safe to eat. But perhaps the toughest task will be convincing consumers. It's not clear that the consumers having the choice, they will choose for lab-grown meat. Meat going in the pan. These startups believe they can change those eating habits one bite at a time. Terry Che, Associated Press, Emeryville, California.